No one wanted hand-drawn anima animation anymore. And that got me on my path to acting. Terry, how are you? Doing? Hi, Lisa. How you doing? You got some great, that was great cinematography on your camera here. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it's so great to meet you. And I love when actors do animated movies. They are just so much fun. And I love when I don't know who the voices are, seeing little things that the animators put in that you're like, I know that that's, you know, Terry <laughs> Crews. So when you see the final product of a character like Tentacular, what excites you the most that you've seen that they've incorporated? Well, you know, again, I'm a kid at heart. I have never gone past 14 years old in my brain, okay? Same. So it doesn't matter. I stay 14 the whole time. And, you know, this is a dream come true. I'm a kid from Flint, Michigan. And when I see myself depicted as this huge tentacled monster uh, in this big movie with all these stars and getting all the pomp and circumstance, of what a big movie is, I'm still like, I, I get emotional because it's just, you know, it's it's so rare. You know what I mean? It's just a very rare to get to a point where, you know, the character is created for you. You know what I mean? Um, it reminded me a, a lot of like, even in Brooklyn Nine-Nine when, you know, they named the character Terry, you know, it's, it's me. Um, and the same thing with, I'm, this is Terry Tentacular. <laughs> Uh, except, you know, this just shows a different side of me because I have to say this, I, as an athlete, you know, I, all the bravado, all the narcissism, all that was me. And you felt like you needed to be that because there's so much self-doubt and insecurity in, in being an athlete because you always feel like, am I good enough today? Uh, you know, like yesterday I was okay but you're judging yourself and to the point of, you know, really, really putting yourself down a lot of times. A lot of times it's that, it's that whole self-defeating thing. So you make up, you know, for that by braggadocia and being over the top and really big. And, you know, and the thing is it works for a while, uh, but in real life, it always comes back to bite you. You know what I mean? That win at all costs thing, it just, it doesn't work, um, and it, it's it's truly it, it's scorched earth, and you're the guy that ends up with nothing. <laughs> and um, in this movie, you know, Steve has the secret passion that actually ends up helping him in the ring and to be better. I know when people look at you, you know, you think Terry Crews, he must love this kind of thing and this kind of thing. But do you have like a secret passion or something that would surprise people to know about oh. you? Well, you know, uh, this is one reason why I love animation so much is that I had an art scholarship before I had a football scholarship. I am an illustrator and I had my portfolio in at Disney and at DreamWorks when I moved out to LA after retiring from football in 1997. And I remember the movie was uh, Prince of Egypt and I was in a big long line for all other animators, hand-drawn animation. And then all of a sudden Toy Story came out and no one wanted hand-drawn anima animation anymore. And that got me on my path to acting. Uh, so a lot of people wouldn't know, this is why my love for it is, is that if Toy Story had probably been delayed a couple years, I may have been working in your um, special effects artists or, uh, or any animation studio right now. I, I, I may have never started acting. That's the strange, crazy thing about this that people don't know, but I love to draw. I love what it is. And and I re usually, if it wasn't for the pandemic, I would be out hanging out with the guys who drew this whole movie and from the storyboard artists all the way to the colorists and animators. That's amazing. I love that because when I was a kid, that's, I wanted to animate too and I could draw, but then I had to get into like the computer programming part. You're kind of like, oh, I just thought I drew stuff. So You're yeah, right. it's right. a whole it's world. A whole yeah. yeah. Well, that's amazing, but you never know. Maybe that's the next step is you do get that chance to kind of go in there and, and make your own thing. I would love to. I would love to. <laughs> and if you live, let's get Froyo afterwards. Oh, I love Froyo. Wait, if I live.